Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by and watching our video today. My name is Gary from worldstart.com and uh, today I have a question from a reader. Uh, his name is Jack and he asked uh, how to use Windows Movie Maker to create a DVD uh, of content that will play in a DVD player. And uh, you know originally when I read this question I thought well that seems silly. It's a movie maker so it should make DVDs. And quickly we kind of found out that well you know technically it's not the case. Um, Windows Movie Maker makes movies or picture presentations or you know music uh, presentations just fine but the way that it makes them by default is for your computer or to share on YouTube or to share through some other kind of electronic means. Um, it doesn't have a direct option to uh, create a DVD and the reason for that is because Windows has made a new program called Windows DVD Maker and uh, so you have to use that. Now it does directly link. I'll show you uh, both ways here on how to make something, uh, make something into a DVD that plays on your DVD player. Um, so let's go ahead and turn to the computer now and we'll, we'll take a look at this. Okay, so let's start off here by opening up uh, Windows Movie Maker. We can go to Start and uh, you can do it the old fashioned way here by going to Start and finding it here under uh, Windows Live. It's also going to be over here, right here, Windows Live Movie Maker, or you can just type it into the box, Windows Live Movie Maker, and there it is. I'll go ahead and open that up. Now this is Windows Live Movie Maker. Uh, I'm not gonna cover a ton of things about this program itself because it's, uh, uh, there's really a, a it could be another whole tip on this, but uh, essentially what we're going to do is we're gonna we're gonna put a uh, put a video in here, and uh, so I just have one here on the desktop that I'm gonna drag over and drop into this. Now this is a this is going to be a video that I'm creating into a DVD, but obviously you can do other things. You can put pictures into this. You can make uh, picture presentation slideshows with uh, music and things. Everything through uh, Windows Movie uh, Windows Movie Maker or Windows Live Movie Maker as it's called now. Um, we'll just go ahead and skip over all that stuff. I have the movie in here that I want. Now what you want to do is go over here and uh, click down this menu and go to Save Movie. And under Save Movie you're going to choose Burn a DVD. Now this is where the confusing part comes in because when you choose Burn a DVD it asks you where do you want to save it. Uh, Windows Movie Maker doesn't actually burn the DVD for you. It's just going to create a file. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, and it's called MyMovie.WMV. It's going to make sure to create it in a format that works well for a DVD. Um, I'm going to save it to the desktop. Go ahead and hit save, and this is going to process. Um, this may take a little bit of time here, so I might just fast forward through this. Okay, this is just finishing up now, and um, after it's finished here, it's going to go ahead and open up the program that we use to create DVDs. This is called Windows DVD Maker. Now, um, I want to stop here for a second and just go over something real quickly. If you already have a video or something on your computer that you want to make into a DVD, you don't even have to use Windows Live Movie Maker to do anything with it. You can just go to Start, and in the uh, search box here, type in Windows DVD Maker, and uh, it'll come up up here on the programs, and you can click on it. It'll take you exactly to this spot where you can then add your movie and, uh, and create a DVD out of it. So um, back to here now. This is uh, essentially what I have. I have the video that I want to make into a DVD. If I wanted to add more, I could. You can have several and create menus and things, and that's where we get to next. So we'll go ahead and hit the next button. And, uh, and up comes what it recommends for a menu. Uh, you can choose over here on the left-hand side all the different options. Like if I choose this one here called Bandwidth, it creates this. And if you want to see it, you can hit the, uh, hit the preview button here. I'll generate the preview and kind of show you what it's going to look like. This is the intro screen for the uh, for the DVD that I'm making, and it has the option here for play and, and scenes and everything. It's it's really cool. It's got lots of options. Um, now that we're done with this, we want to go ahead and just hit the burn button. And as you can see down here in the corner, it's already popped up, and it's starting to encode it encode the DVD, and then it'll burn it to a it'll burn it to disk. I already have the disk in the computer, so really that's all it is. I'm not going to sit here and wait through this as it goes through. It's probably going to take about 20 minutes or so. But uh, that's the general idea, and that's how to burn a DVD starting with something from Windows Live Movie Maker. All right, so there you go. That's how to create a DVD uh, starting with Windows Movie Maker and creating a movie and then, and then burning it to disk finally. Um, you know, these options here, they, they come as a little bit of a change if you're coming from Windows XP, but honestly, they do make sense once you start to use them, especially since the Windows DVD Maker 
has a lot of options out there and it lets you create cool menus and animations and things, uh, things that Windows Movie Maker wouldn't have offered before. So um, if you have a question for us and you want us to answer it on the, in our newsletter or, uh, or on these videos here, go to www.worldstart.com slash ask and uh, ask away there. We'll be happy to answer your questions. If you're not subscribed to our Computer Tips newsletter, we send it out Monday through Friday. It's a great publication with all kinds of helpful things for your computer. You can go just go to www.worldstart.com and, and sign up right there. Thanks for watching.